We turn now. Ah, oh, it's always a relief. We always do that when we get to this segment. I don't even realize it. It's Faith Friday here. Our next guest is a world-renowned scholar and civil rights activist. He's also the founder and president of the Yaqeen Institute for Islamic Research. Yes, and he is here today to talk all about the Muslim holy month of Ramadan, which is set to begin on the evening of April 12th and is observed by 1.6 billion Muslims worldwide. Please welcome Imam Omar Sulaiman. Iman, thank you so much for being with us, and we know Ramadan begins in just a few days. Can you start by explaining to us the meaning of Ramadan? What is it all about? First of all, thank you for having me, and I hope you all are having a blessed day. Uh, Ramadan is the ninth month of the Islamic calendar. It is a month of fasting, and uh, what it is is it commemorates the revelation of the Qur'an, and as Muslims, uh, we see that all the holy books were in fact revealed at a time coinciding with Ramadan. And so what we do is we fast from dawn until sunset. And that makes us uh, more conscious of God, more conscious of the blessings of God, and more conscious of how we should receive those blessings and channel those blessings to the world around us. And so there's no food, no drinking, including coffee, uh, no intimacy from before sunrise all the way to sunsets. And uh, that allows us to be more conscious of those blessings in our lives. Now, you mentioned the fasting and the time and, and a few other things there, but is that essentially the typical day? Is there anything else you can tell us about a typical day during Ramadan? So the idea is to restrain the body and feed the soul. And so when you become more conscious and aware of the blessings that you ordinarily have easy access to, then that allows you to also be more conscious about the things that you're putting into your soul on a regular basis. And so what we do is we make sure that we spend our days in devotion. We have a lot of recitation of the Quran, a lot of charitable acts and volunteering uh, that are done as well. And so it's a lot of service initiatives, a lot of prayer, and a lot of giving our soul its proper time since we give our body so much time. Mm -hmm. Uh, throughout the year. Hmm. Well, this is now the second Ramadan in the middle of a global pandemic. So how will things look this year? How has it changed how you observe this holy period? So last year, you know, the, the quarantine came right before Ramadan. And so practically every mosque was entirely shut. Um, that didn't stop us from our service initiatives. And so Muslims were still, you know, in the inner cities serving food. Uh, serving the homeless, making sure that they were involved in many of the service initiatives that mark Ramadan for us as a community. But this year is, is really interesting because we've had a whole year of, you know, Zoom and, and Restream and, and figuring out technology. And we also have most mosques around the country at least partially reopening. And so what that means is that last year we were completely forbidden from gathering in our mosques. This year you're going to have shortened prayers. You're going to have People still coming together in some capacity, and obviously with the rollout of the vaccines, that's probably going to be more towards the end of the month of Ramadan. You're still going to have a lot of charitable initiatives and people coming together to serve, but you're also going to have a lot of people that are going to be missing from our community that we had seen in prior Ramadan. So I think that that's going to really dawn upon us in a very difficult way since, you know, a lot of those familiar faces that we're used to seeing in the mosques in the month of Ramadan are not going to be there this year as we gather even for that short time. All right, well, we've come now to that point, which is one of our favorite parts of our Faith Friday segment where we have our guest. Uh, just give our, our viewers, give us all just kind of a message of hope, some inspiration going into the weekend. So what do you have for us? So Ramadan is about us becoming more aware of our blessings. And I think that there are a lot of blessings that we used to take for granted that we've now become more aware of. And the idea is that the more aware you become of those blessings, the more aware you become of the one who bestowed them upon you, and the more aware you become of yourself and how you can channel those blessings to society. And so Muslims will be trying to emulate the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, who was described as more generous than a blowing wind. And the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, even a smile is charity. And so my message to everyone, including my own community and myself, of course, is to channel that spirit of generosity in the broadest sense possible to be a force of healing and not to underestimate the smallest act of kindness and charity at a time when we are surrounded by acts of cruelty and at the same time are, in, are deeply in need of, uh, of healing and deeply in need of the mercy that we seek to be vehicles of. Oh my goodness, even a smile 
some of our some of the folks in our in our studio here are <laughs> some of our camera ops or stage managers they just pulled their masks down for a second and gave me a smile when you said that imam <laughs> uh, thank you so much for that message it's good to see you we appreciate you hope to have you back at some point imam omar suleiman thanks so much thank you i appreciate you well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.